there YouTube, welcome to the first video done completely on the Logitech C910 webcam. Um, just to let you guys know a little bit about the C910, the Logitech C910 webcam is basically a full HD Carl Zeiss lens uh, webcam with built-in microphone. At the moment I'm using the audio from the same webcam and I'm shooting it in full HD. The only setback with this specific webcam is the fact that it only runs at 15 frames per second. So for utmost quality, my Fujis will still be used for a lot of my review work and stuff, so you can get the most detail, etc. The idea behind the webcams, however, is that I can use them on the bench to actually show you guys what it is I'm working on, which has always been tricky in the past with cameras over your shoulders, etc. Now using these, I'll be able to take a side-on view of whatever's on my main workbench. Uh, I'll be able to record it and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm doing to fix the problem, as well as me talking through the repairs. Um, this is an idea that I've had for a while, but also people have asked me for the specific feature. Um, so I've decided to go ahead and do it. So let me show you a little bit around with the C910 webcam, and you can let me know if you think it's something that I should continue doing, even though there is a slightly slower frame rate. Let's get onto the bench and check it out. Now, just to give you an example, so for example, I'm working on this uh, switch mode power supply board. Here, you would actually be able to get an interpretation of the screen as well as be able to see what's currently displaying on the multimeter, uh, which could come in handy when I'm doing fault diagnosis videos or whatever the case may be, or repairing something, then you'd be able to see exactly how the repair goes about. This angle can be adjusted slightly, um, obviously to just about any angle uh, that you could, you could ever want uh, when it comes to repair videos. I'm also able to zoom in uh, marginally and of course, the exposure might need to be adjusted for that and zoom out, but the, the quality would drop off a little bit with that happening. Also, the new webcam system does allow you to get in quite close to the boards to be able to see repair work, etc. In fact, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to bring you down right down to board level so you can see exactly what it is I'm working on and uh, be able to see exactly how I do it. Now, here we have an example of actually making use of this. Uh, practically, we could, uh, in effect, angle the board up slightly so you guys could get a better view. And then we could talk about the various components, such as here we've got the optocoupler. Um, we could measure the optocoupler, show you how that's done. Um, we could go through the board actually testing componentry, etc., such as these resistors, and basically show you the readings as we go with a little secondary cam actually displaying the. Um, the results of the multimeter. So this allows us to get quite close um, and also having that digital zoom functionality we can get in really close and really show you guys what it is we're working on. Um, like let's say if we wanted to work with this capacitor over here. Lighting may still be an issue uh, which we will work on but uh, that it's not a big issue it's, it's something that can be solved relatively easily and uh, I think this is definitely going to improve on my uh, repair videos and, and such to the point where you guys can actually get in and see exactly what it is I'm working on. Now, there are a few other functions that I, I'm planning to add, like maybe a second or a third webcam function. But uh, I just wanted to show you the actual board views so you can see exactly how close we're actually getting to the items now. Um, and you'll be able, to, be able to understand exactly what it is I'm talking about when I talk about uh, getting onto the board, measuring through the points, etc. And really it's going to make the whole video experience on YouTube, I feel, a lot better. So basically what I'm, I'm leaning towards in this video, it's, it's, it's not one of my official uh, Evian Labs episode videos. It's just a video showing you guys uh, some of the things that we're doing to the lab to improve the actual um, footage to those of you out there that are interested in watching. For example, being able to actually see what I'm working on without me having to pull cameras in. Um, this really does make things a lot better, a lot simpler for me to be able to produce these videos. Uh, although the frame rate is a little bit lower, being 15 frames per second from those uh, C910 webcams, it's better than nothing as far as I'm concerned. 
Um, the Fuji cameras that I've like, for example, the one I'm using to record this are actually much larger, uh, much more complex and a lot harder to suspend over workbenches, etc. I do use it for my review videos because I do have a special mount over a shelf um, over my secondary bench. So it's easy for me to be able to do the review videos, etc. The footage is upside down, but that's nothing to convert in the uh, video editing software at the end of the day. Um, but besides that, everything else uh, will be recorded from the secondary bench from webcam with the Fuji X-T1 doing maybe like a second or third angle. And uh, we'll be able to produce a much nicer video for you guys to watch. Have a fantastic weekend, everybody. I need to get back to work. Have a good one and take care.